When looking at how to take blood pressure, we need to see where we take blood pressure. Blood pressure is taken, or blood pressure is obtained, from an elastic artery. The reason it's obtained from an elastic artery is because all of your elastic arteries are going to have about the same pressure, and we want to know how hard the left ventricle must contract to push open the aortic semilunar valve. That's the purpose in knowing the blood pressure. Okay, there are two types of flows. There, are, there is laminar flow, and there's turbulent flow. With laminar flow, you're going to have a blood vessel, and it's going to have all the blood flowing in the same direction. And you're not going to be able to hear it. It's going to be silent. Cannot hear it. In turbulent flow, the blood vessels, well, the blood is going to be going in different directions. And so you're going to have blood moving in one direction. And then usually what happens is it's going to reach a bifurcation point so that the blood is going to change directions. Okay, you can notice that as it changes directions, we drew the vector smaller in the resulting blood vessels. And the reason for that is resistance was increased here where the blood vessel bifurcated. And the vectors are going to show the decrease in pressure and the decrease in the speed of the blood going through the resulting blood vessel. Blood vessel. When looking at blood pressure, we're going to take the blood pressure on an elastic artery. So we're going to draw our um, brachial artery. That's the most commonly used blood vessel whenever determining blood pressure. So here's our artery. A cuff is put around the arm. Put it in pink. A cuff is put around the brachial region of the arm and it is increased in pressure. So you increase the pressure and that pressure is going to be great enough or it needs to be great enough to close the artery. Okay, if you have a closed artery then it's going to look a little bit more like this. Erased all that. Let's open our blood vessel back here. Okay, so here we have a closed artery and we slowly decrease the pressure. As the pressure is slowly decreased, eventually this blood vessel is going to open up just a tiny amount. So we're going to use a small eraser here, open it up just this tiny amount. And what's going to happen is that allows for just a little bit of blood to be able to pass through. So we're going to, the blood is hitting the wall of the blood vessel here, but just a little bit of the blood is going to be able to pass through. So much of the blood is hitting the wall of the blood vessel, so you're going to hear a loud sound. Those car cough sounds are sounds that you hear whenever obtaining blood pressure. So you hear louder car cough sounds, and you're going to continue to decrease the pressure. As you continue to decrease the pressure, the artery continues to open. As the artery continues to open, as the artery continues to open, more blood will be able to pass through it. So in this example here, we might say, um, more blood is actually coming through. We we'll use the wrong color on the blood. As you continue to decrease the pressure, the artery opens up even more. Whenever the, whenever the artery opens up even more, you can see more blood would pass through it, but there's still a little bit of blood hitting the wall of the blood vessel, so you're still going to continue to hear the car cough sounds. They get fainter 
And the reason they get fainter is because the hole in the, or the opening of the artery is um, wider, so less blood is hitting the walls of the blood vessel. So here eventually we're going to get to the point where the blood vessel is almost all the way open. And just a tiny bit of blood, I'm not sure if I drew that well enough, but anyway, tiny bit of blood is hitting this, this blood vessel wall right here. And you have a faint car cough sound. And after that one, you don't have any more. So the first time you heard the car cough sound, the first sound is, is going to be the systolic pressure. The last sound, whenever the artery is just barely closed, is the diastolic pressure. Okay, what is the heart doing whenever you hear the systolic pressure or whenever whenever the systolic pressure is recorded, what does that mean the left ventricle is doing? It means that the left ventricle is contracting that hard to open up the aortic semilunar valve. The last sound, the diastolic pressure, when the diastolic pressure is recorded, that tells you what the pressure is in the aorta as the ventricle is relaxed. 